of Yugashima, a popular hot spring town that's located on the Izu Peninsula in Shizuoka Prefecture. And today I'm going to be learning about how fresh wasabi is grown in this first prize award-winning Eat Meat Japan experience. And basically I get to experience how to be a wasabi farmer. And then I get to try some amazing cuisine that uses fresh wasabi. So let's go explore and see what it's like to be a wasabi farmer. Let's go! I'm here and I'm changed into my wasabi farmer outfit with my rubber boots and my rain jacket because it's a little bit rainy now. And let's go and meet our guide for today. I think she's waiting over there. Konnichiwa! Hi, konnichiwa! はい、竹尻わさび園のあとだけ子供を済ます。よろしくお願いします。お願いします。これがもしかしてわさびですかそうですね、これがいつのわさびになります。こうやってダンで育ってるんですね。そうですね。いつのわさびダンの特徴の高
I have just arrived at my destination for lunch. This is Shirakabe So, and it was first established in 1955. And it's especially known for having many famous novelists who came to stay here and get inspiration because it's surrounded by beautiful nature and the architecture is fantastic. Even Nobel Prize winning novelists have stayed here. So let's go inside and see what it looks like and let's enjoy a wasabi lunch. Here we go. Look at this, they even have a type of irori, which is an indoor fireplace where you can boil water, make some tea. In the old days, they would even be cooking here. Sticky now, hair, this is This is beautiful. Look at this amazing spread. This is the wasabi that I picked earlier today. I cannot believe it. It looks so much nicer than when I first picked it. Honjitsuwa Izuno Tabatebako to you course Namani Nate Orimasu Sudete Wasabi or Tanoshimi Tadakeru course in Nate Orimasu Suriolo Sta Wasabi or Desne Okonomi de Nosete Tadakimasu. This is a fresh wasabi root. Sudikata ni yotte, aji mo kawatte maarimasu no de, maruku yasashiku sutte kudasai. Kore wa nani de dekiteru in desu ka? Hai, kochira wa same no kawa de dekite imasu. Saikokyu no suriita ni narimasu. It's burning my nose a little bit. <laughs> and it's turned into this really like lime green creamy froth. では最後にお勧めのわさびカクテルを紹介させていただきます。わさびカクテル。はい。Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this before. This is a glass of local Japanese sake. And we're going to make it into a wasabi cocktail by adding our freshly grated wasabi into this. But first, let's try the sake as it is. おいしい。めちゃくちゃおいしいです。it's very smooth. It's not very sweet. You can taste a little bit of that rice fragrance. It's really, really wonderful. That's a lot of wasabi. <laughs> it's a magic cocktail where you don't get hungover when you drink it. The reason being that wasabi actually uh, metabolizes really fast in your body, so it helps break down the alcohol, which means that you can drink as much as you want. You probably won't get hungover. What on earth? That's so hard to describe. It still retains the flavor of the Japanese sake. So it's very smooth and it's not that spicy. She put a lot of wasabi in there. I thought it would be crazy spicy. There's only a little hint of it on your tongue. It doesn't come up to your nose. It's just creamy and it's got a little bit of a herbal taste to it. All right, it's time to dig in. Everything looks incredible and they put so much thought into every single dish and everything is locally sourced. Very excited to try. And I'm very curious about this unagi or eel sushi that they have here. Okay, here we go, you guys. Itadakimasu. Mmm! Mmm, that's so good! The unagi feels a little bit more like a traditional sushi, like an old style sushi. So instead of like just a raw sushi, it feels a little bit fermented and all of it feels a little bit on the sour side. I'm also interested in this kaki or persimmon with milk. Here we go. That's unlike anything I've ever really had before. It's a very unique texture and flavor. She described it as like a cheese. It's kind of like eating a cheese, but it's sweet. And they added just one more item to the course. This is a rice that's been cooked with sakura ebi, or um, literally translates to cherry blossom shrimp. The rice is so fluffy, it's been cooked with like soy sauce. It's very flavorful, and you get these little crunch of the tiny shrimps. Next, we'll try the local salmon. First time trying this type of salmon, grown by wasabi farms. Wow, it does have a wonderful taste. It's been marinated in kind of a sweet and salty soy sauce. Interesting texture, wonderful flavor. It's very good. I like it as well. While our meat is grilling, let's try our nabe or hot pot with the local chicken that's actually been raised eating the leaves of the wasabi. So I tried that earlier and they're spicy. So these are some pretty tough chickens. They eat spicy food every day. Let's try our freshly grated wasabi. And I'd like to mention that the nabe already has a ton of wasabi in it. So we're gonna add a little bit more. Oh, that's really good. Instantly, not spicy, but kind of creamy and 
It's just got a wonderful, fresh, herby taste. That is so interesting. Okay, next I wanna try the spicier variety. So this is the variety that's actually used at high-end sushi restaurants. Definitely spicier, but it's still got a wonderful creamy texture and it's not too spicy. This is real wasabi and it's not as sharp to your nose. It's actually really enjoyable to eat. It tastes fresh, creamy, delicious. It, it's not painful in any way whatsoever. So I really, really recommend to try it. This meal is fantastic. I don't have time to eat all of it yet, so I'll finish eating this, but this was a full and really, really fun day, and I wholeheartedly recommend this to everybody to try. If you love food and you love experiencing how food is made, this is for you. And of course, it's only added by the fact that this hotel is amazing as well. The rooms are stunning. The baths are unlike anything I've ever seen before. The giant baths made out of stone, out of wood. It's really something else. You can bathe outdoors in the nature. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, comment, and don't forget to share and subscribe. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys, and come bye.